Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. So today's topic is about experiment 6.1, simple step up and step down transformers. So let's start. Our aim for this experiment is to construct and study the st the function of simple step up and step down transformers using laminated soft iron core. So the problem statement are uh, what are the function of step up and step down transformers. So the hypothesis for this experiment is A in step up transformers the secondary voltage output is higher than the primary voltage input and for B is uh, for step down transformers so the secondary voltage output is lower than primary voltage input for variables, we have manipulated, responding and constant. So let's see manipulated first. So the manipulated var variables are number of turn of the secondary coil. So the responding variable will be the brightness of the light bulb. And constant variable is the number of turn of primary coil. We have the material and the apparatus. So the material is connecting wire, insulated copper wire, and also light bulbs. And for apparatus, we have AC power supply and laminated C-shaped soft iron core. So let's see the procedure for this experiment. Number one, we will wind 30 turns of wire around one arm of the laminated soft iron to form the primary coil as shown in figures below. And step number two is wind 15 turns of wire around the other arm of laminated soft iron to form the secondary coil as shown in figures below. So the next procedure is we will connect the primary coil to an AC power supply and then we will connect the light bulb P to the primary coil light bulb S to secondary coil as shown in figures below. After that, we will switch on the AC power supply and adjust its voltage to 2 volt. And we will observe in step 5 we will observe and compare the brightness of the two bulbs. We will repeat the step 3 until 5 by using the primary coil with 30 turns and a secondary coil with 60 turns. So the arrangement is the same with the figures below. So after that, we will observe the brightness of bulb P and S using uh, different uh, numbers of turn in secondary coil 15 and 16 so after the observation so the conclusion that uh, you can make from the observation is uh, is the hypothesis of the experiment is accepted or what are what is the conclusion of this experiment now we move on to question so based on the result on of this experiment so what is the effect on the brightness of the bulb if NP okay, is larger than NS okay so question number 1b what is the relationship between V primer okay volt primer and volt secundary if NP is larger than NS and 1c what type of transformers is this so the answer you can see that based on the result of uh, of this experiment so bulb p is brighter compared to bulb s and 1b so vp what the voltage of uh, primer is larger than voltage secunder and this uh, known as step up step down transformers so question number two, based on the result of this experiment, so what is the effect 
on the brightness of bulb if NP is less than NS. So one two B. So what is the relationship between VP and VS is if NP is less than NS. To see what type of transformers is this. So the first one is step down. So this one will be step up. So based on this uh, the experiment, the result of this experiment, so bulb S is brighter compared to bulb P. So the VP will become less than uh, VS. So that I mentioned earlier. So once 2C is step up transformers. Question number three. What happened to the change in voltage of the alternating current in a transformer if the difference between the number of turn in its primary coil and the number of turn in its secondary coil is increased? So what will happen? So if the difference between the number of turn in the primary coil and the number of turn in secondary coil in transformer is increased so the difference between the primary voltage and the secondary voltage become bigger okay next one is question number four so why are the number of turn in primary and secondary coil different in all transformers so the answer for question number four a transformer can only change the voltage of alternating current if the number of turn of primary coil and secondary coil is different. In, in the contrary, if the number of turn in primary and secondary coil is the same, so there is no change to the primary voltage and secondary voltage. So I hope this one will help you to answer all the questions uh, in experiment 6.1. So I will see you again in our next class. Bye-bye and thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.